So the Green Bay Packers have decided to move on from inside linebacker Kamal Martin. How's it going, everyone? Bass here. So the news did break. The Packers are indeed cutting Kamal Martin, just trimming their roster down and down further to that 53-man roster. Um, this is a little bit of a shock for me, considering Kamal Martin was that fifth-round draft choice from just a year ago in 2020 um, out of Minnesota. And, you know, he wasn't supposed to be anything great. I had high hopes for him. I will eat my words and say I did have a lot of high hopes for Kamal Martin. I thought he could turn into something great at linebacker but obviously not. So what it really boiled down to was the fact that Kamal Martin could never really stay healthy, and when he did, he didn't really show that much. Coming out of college, obviously he had that uh, meniscus issue, then the surgery, so he couldn't play for the first better half of the year. Got some snaps in at 2020, and now fast forward to the camp this year, another knee injury, sat out for a while. Um, before then, they were experimenting with him at outside linebacker to begin camp. But after his injury, he came back and he was already surpassed by other linebackers, inside linebackers like Oren Burks and Ty Summers. So overall, Kamal Martin was really just the odd man out. The Packers have about five other inside linebackers that could probably make this roster. And I just think the Packers have no way to keep six inside linebackers on this roster, considering they might have to keep seven wide receivers. So Kamal Martin was 6'3", 240 pounds, which is surprisingly heavier than all of the Packers linebackers, but Ty Summers, um, Chris Barnes, Oren Burks, Devondre Campbell, Isaiah McDuffie are all lighter than him. And then Ty Summers was about the same weight. And yeah, I'm a little shocked to see this happen, especially when you see a team, you know, move on from a, a mid-round draft choice just a year after drafting them. Obviously, injuries played a big toll in this, but still definitely shocking to see because I was definitely... Uh, one of the bigger Kamal Martin supporters, like I said earlier in the video, I definitely thought he could, you know, become a premier inside linebacker in this league uh, that could cover, uh, move around, sideline the sideline quick. But obviously the Packers bringing in someone like Devondre Campbell just showed that they didn't see that in Kamal Martin. They needed to bring someone else in to pretty much fill that role. And then, of course, with the emergence of Oren Burks um, this preseason playing really well this preseason and even Ray Wilburn has been playing pretty well this this preseason. Um, and then Ty Summers, that uh, depth linebacker, special teams guy. They just have a lot of pieces inside linebacker. And Kamal Martin, like I said earlier, just the odd man out. So overall, his career at Green Bay, he totaled one sack, 24 total tackles, and three tackles for loss. Um, I definitely think a team will at least submit a waiver claim for him, uh, potentially trying to stash them, stash him on their practice squad. Um, I'm honestly kind of shocked that they didn't trade him. Now, obviously... <laughs> No team wanted to trade for him, so that's why he ended up being cut. But I'm, I'm more so shocked the fact that he couldn't at least command, say, a seventh round draft choice. So the Packers also did cut tight end Daniel Crawford today. He was signed as an undrafted free agent um, in May and obviously just a camp body type guy uh, getting the roster closer and closer to that 53. He was kind of that H back role tight end. But the Packers obviously have multiple players to fulfill that role. Um, Dominic Daphne, Josiah DeGuara. So overall, like I said, just a camp body and just another cut. So that's about going to do it for today's video. Just some quick news. And again, I'm, I'm still kind of surprised that um, they let go of Kamal Martin this quick. Um, I want to hear your thoughts down in the comments. Did you think uh, you saw this cut coming or did you think maybe they should have kept around for a little bit longer just to just to see really, really what he can do with a full year under his belt? Let me know down in the comments below. But on that note, I'll catch you on the next one. And as always, go Pack Go.